Hello, welcome back to Took's Wrap Table. How's everyone doing today? Uh, we are going to continue to make the cover. The one that I show on the video yesterday, I done. And then I sewn in the signature. This is how it looked like. Super cute. And got the gold tape in and then that's the back and I got the page in this is how it will look like inside and then it will flat and when it open up you can see a little hollow spine and you can see the a little bit of headband not so much yes yeah, so and you can see see how the it looks so look like a bark <laughs> a bark tree bark or something so yeah so that's um this it i just glued this on it's not like any technique or anything because it's so fragile and you can't do much about it by preserving it so i just take a few pages i think i have the back side um so just take a few pages out and then you just glue it on the the hinge and make it into a page, right? So and then same as this one, it just came out in like this. So I just glued on the envelope flap here and you get publish it on 1808. So you have that um it's just to, to know when when the where the book from and like the era of the book and this one I think this is this book is the oldest book in in the oldest paper come from the oldest book in here <clears throat> excuse me um, it they are from 1795 but it's the record the history record from 19 no 1793 record so so you will see when people talk about cotton paper or raggedy paper this is what it is like super thin but so strong so yeah it went through sewing machine fine yeah so and then i have some letter that is from 1985 they're not old but uh, i just love how being handwritten and then aging paper yeah so that's um it's in I got all the paper in and then this is the bit in between signature so you s this room to grow so yeah so that's it's built like do you see how I built it so it's pretty strong and uh, it should last or just don't try to like overload and put too much um, pressure on these I mean it won't hurt um, the spine because it's like two layer right I mean the it's pretty strong but anyway so today we are going to um, add the the piece this piece to to the cover well, add the cover to the piece like that's what I should say and then add some gold tape um, this gold strip I use Nick the booksmith uh, technique to to do this so if you want to check out her tutorial so basically just um, your double sided tape tape on a non-stick paper I use the paper I use is the paper that I peel my shipping label off you know when I ship something uh, ship the package I print on label and then when I peel off you will have this non-sticky um, paper so I use that so I tape double sided tape on these and then I add gold leaves to it and that's and then I cut into strip I mean the strip it doesn't matter the size they're not the same size they're not but it, as I am the queen of eyeballing <laughs> so that's what 
I do and then I keep it in the laminated sheet to protect it you can keep it in the sheet protector as well but I just find it easier for me to open up and and take it this this way yeah so that's what we're gonna do today it's gonna be I hope it will be short because I don't I don't think I need to show you how to sew the signature in because I use three whole pamphlet that I done so many of that in my tutorial if you you are new here go to my playlist of um, create with me all the series like I have in there they pretty much have all the sewn in signature you know the start to finish or soft cover or anything like that yeah so again I don't measure because these books are so old they don't have exact measurement each cover will have different size and if you work with the old book you will know so you just measure as you go and my measure my measurement is just like simple so I turn it over and then I just eyeballing that it's about about one like you know one length of the thickness of this spine like you know one one width not one length one width like if if this fit in here perfect that's that's what I want to do right and um, and that's how I would measure and then I will cut it off just exactly where I mark it and I, I hope I made the right see I forgot to choose this is gonna be the front I forgot to choose which one so, yeah this one is better for the front so that's because we we peel off the leather uh, so you have a little dent once this glue in it will fill in the dent and equal like smooth out the the gap the dip what you call the I wish I know more vocabulary so you understand me <laughs> so yeah this is gonna go in here I think you got the idea of how I will assembling the cover and the same as this one And if you wonder how how I measure, so I I can see I can see the old leather here, the old leather here. So I see that, and then I just mark it. And I don't mark exactly where the, the leather is because you want to have some some length for the the hinge to go around the. The, the the edge here so you give a teeny bit extra To keep an eye on the phone today because I left a message for the contractor to call so they might call anytime for the kitchen and the bathroom so if they call I might have to stop the video and take the call we are in the panic mode now
get rid of the bump some glue or some dust so that's go there now I did add some some extra glue on here I hope look at how it oozed out um, let's hope how it um, will be better flow than yesterday and thank you for the tips and yeah I I know um, the nail polish remover have acetone but just in case you <laughs> you're new to my channel I am moving so I pack most of my craft supplies so I don't have um, what I need so I just have a little bit on my table here so trying to use what what's here <laughs> it's frustrating <laughs> oh yeah and I I like to smoosh out uh, glue because I find it it grab quicker and it doesn't seep through the fabric as much as um, it's supposed to well we hope right I know I put a lot I should go this way so I can see better and then center it better It. I like this glue because it's easy to position, right? And I have these, so oh no. I hope the the gold table cover a lot of that. You know, Nikki Booksmith have a really um, nice and comprehensive tutorial if you want to to learn a proper technique on these kind of thing, right? For me, I just do as like I just try things out and then what work I just keep doing it. And this is, I find this work for me. And you make sure you, you get this part glued down. And uh, you, your paint might come off, so a touch of paint is required after. Of these, we don't need a lot of them. Um, better today but it's a little bit windy so I might listen, take Darcy out for a stroll and uh, we'll try to finish off the cover yeah so this is gonna be interesting on the, the
the stitchery page. <laughs> I watched a little bit of uh, Rachel on her composition this morning. I didn't finish the video yet. And uh, I haven't watched Sarah. Not sure what she's doing. So I need to catch up on that and then do some of my my book and then I will share them. This is, seems like very wide. Let me see. Maybe it's too wide. Yeah. You know, it's already you can tell. I already can tell. So let's trim. I mean, um, it's better to cut it big and you trim it off a little bit at a time rather than uh, cut it too small that would be your your big issue right with all this apologize the mess painting from yesterday <laughs> you never can keep the tabletop clean can you especially that this is all the space I have to work with See how it's so nice and you know flexible, not stiff. Again, it seems to work better to glue today. I'm glad. This one still a little bit of these left, so nice. And remember the one that I just pulled out from at the book and then fill in here? <laughs> That's how it looked like. It looks so ancient now. Well, it is ancient, right? But ancient that has um, usable, what you call them. Where's my these have to make sure they I think they are about this glue allow you time to reposition for a bit so 
I just love the roughness of the paper underneath that keeps you know the tape it's like bumpy you just like give you the handmade vibe look now close up the this part There, we got cover. Ready to be assembled. Okay, let's put on the gold leaves. really see some I can get straight and some I cannot <laughs> oh, I cut too short on this one short on the bottom one and I'll need I need this piece just to make sure it's really stick down and then I'm gonna try to find a piece the strip that similar length or width for this side maybe I should cut it before what do you think would be a smart idea, right? Can I get the glue off my finger?
this one's crooked. <laughs> it's crooked. It's bending. But that it's okay. That is okay, right? So now we got gold gilding and now we go on the side. Okay, wish me luck. I mean, you can leave this part off too because it's kind of, um, it looks good without goal as well as goal, but you know what? I don't know. Like, a goal just add add the magic <laughs> to the book oh this is gonna be hard washing me peeling off double-sided tape Sorry, if I'm off screen, so this is like the really um, hard part, not hard part, finicky, you should say. You might have a better way to, to add these two. But I just find it's better to add um, after all everything in. But it might be better to add um, at this stage maybe, like when it's flat, like you know, add at this stage, and then um, what do you call mop, not mop posh, um, collage medium over it. That is good. Maybe I'll try that with this one and see, you know, it might be easier way. Try to add to the curve. Oh no, oh no. This is the finicky part. I mean, it's pretty strong tape. You can, and then you can reposition. You might lose some 
some of the gold might rub off a little bit but hey you know over the year right that's how the antique look will look like you lose some some shine I just don't like how these the end of these tape curl up. I will do something with it. Have to be careful, it's gonna curl up on you. <laughs> important to have the right tool to do the job too right and then you get a precise and neat um, perfect looking which I am not looking for perfection or anything I just want to have it like a look of beat up book and being fixed and you know and down generations that's the look I'm after one last one <laughs> are you holding your breath? <laughs> I am I'm not happy with this one. See how it bent in a little bit. Yeah. See if I can pull it out. I did it 
a little bit not much but better than before so there we go the our book cover and ready now in order to get this look not too shiny like and then some wrap off a little bit here and there so what I would do I would just go in with my my fingers because the heat or the warm from our hand like There we go. Yeah. See? Simple, simple. So I'm going to continue to play and uh, I hope uh, the book will be done the next couple of days and I will send out email or chat on Facebook. So hopefully you like what I shared today and uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!